Hey, hey, Gemini. So it's me, Tetra from Tetra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Oh, let me cleanse the space. Coming to bring you some energy for today. So you know what you do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, um, the sale's still going until 12 o'clock tonight. Um, quite a few of you guys have signed up. So it's 20% off the readings today only. I'm, I'm probably going to do it every Friday for the remaining of July. Where it's 20% off, not on the emergency readings, but on the regular readings. So that would change the price from 70 before tax to about 56 before tax. Um, but you'd have to book it and pay for it by 12 o'clock midnight tonight okay but still follow the other rules in the description box and let's get into this what does Gemini need to know what does Gemini need to know so I think I might read myself at the end I told you guys that I was gonna I might read my myself on camera or read my read my own energy I have somebody that's always in my energy too and so I might do a quick reading on myself at the end but what does Gemini need to know what does Gemini need to know I am tired you guys I have been reading all day I'm tired, but I did want to get you guys something. What does Gemini need to know? What is the message? Children. So your love life is being affected by children right now. Something to do with kids. Kids are involved in this in some kind of way. Soulmate. This is your soulmate. Or this is a soulmate. So a soulmate and a twin flame are two different things, okay? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. When I look at this card, I feel like it's time for you and this person to just get by yourselves and spend some alone time. New love. I feel like with that new love card, I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like that new love card is not necessarily a new person but a new version of this person or a new version of this relationship. <clears throat> okay. Clarify new love. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like this is a re, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. So I feel like with this King of Wands here, so this person may not have been assertive before, okay? Maybe didn't make the first move or didn't take matters in, um, into their own hands. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius here with this King of Wands. King of Wands is Sagittarius or Scorpio. But I feel like this person wants a happy ever after type of scenario here with this ten of cups okay this ten of cups is family contentment total love okay total support so I feel like this is a broken relationship okay but it's gonna be coming back together there's four of wands here could be dealing with an Aries clarify children clarify children how does children play okay All these cards fell out. Okay. Some of you guys lost children. Some of you guys may have lost children with this person. Okay. Wish fulfillment for you would be to have kids with this person. Okay. And I feel like some of you guys lost children. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. This Five of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus. This nine of cups could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? But I feel like a lot of, so I feel like some of you guys have been manifesting getting a baby from this person, okay? 
this magician card could be dealing with a fellow Gemini or a Virgo. And this Ace of Pentacles just an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. So I feel like some of you guys lost kids from this person. Okay. Or this person had kids. Yeah, see, I feel like you've been working. So I feel like you guys may have been working on having kids or something. Hmm. Clarify, soulmate. Okay. This charity in reverse could be dealing with a cancer. So I feel like I've, so I feel like at one point you gave up on this situation or somebody here gave up on this situation knowing that this is your soulmate though. Clarify charity in reverse. Okay. So I feel like you want to move on from this situation and couldn't because you know that this is your soulmate could be done with a Pisces. You also knew that this person had feelings for you but probably just wasn't expressing them. Yeah, with this six of cups in reverse. You knew that this person was your soulmate, or you know that this person is your soulmate. This six of cups in reverse, that's soulmate energy also, okay? But this is definitely living in the past, okay? So you knew that this person was your soulmate, or you know. So even though you wanted to move on, I feel like you couldn't. Clarify retreat. This King of Cups could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Libra. Six of Cups is Scorpio. Clarify retreat. Why? I am tired, you guys. Damn. Yeah. I feel like you guys just need to be with each other. Okay, I feel like things have been at a standstill. Okay. With this Knight of Wands here. I feel like somebody may have been blocking this connection. Or somebody was on the defensive. Yeah. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You guys just need some time alone. Maybe even to celebrate and party. Just have a good time with each other. Just you and this person. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Three of Cups could be dealing with a Cancer. Two of Swords could be dealing with a Libra. Knight of Wands is Sagittarius. Seven of Wands is Leo. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. I am tired, you guys. Ooh. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. What does Gemini's person need to say or want to, okay, want to say? What does Gemini's person want to say? I am becoming a better person. So that's what I was saying. When it says new love, I feel like you're going to get a new version of this person. Okay. I wish I could take back my words. Okay. So saying things that they don't mean or saying mean shit. I look for you everywhere. So to me, that means that they tried dating other people and tried finding you and they couldn't. Okay. What else? I know I was a distraction from your pain. So to me, this is them saying that when they met you, you was already in something painful. Or you already had just got out of something painful. Clarify, I know I was a distraction from your pain. It's two of swords in reverse. Confusion, indecision. Okay. Another two. Going back and forth, the juggling. So I feel like, okay, yeah. Yep. So I feel like you were being juggled. So I feel like when you met them, you were already in, this, already in a situation where you were being juggled by somebody else. Okay. With this seven of swords here. Seven of swords could be an Aquarius. Seven of Cups is a Scorpio. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a Scorpio or a Libra. 
Two of Pentacles is a Capricorn, and Two of Swords, like I said, is Libra. So I feel like you were already you you had just got out of something where you were um where you were being juggled by somebody else. Somebody was being deceptive, okay? When you met them. What else? I'm starting to understand our connection. So they may, so I feel like you may have told this person that you were, that they were your soulmate or maybe even a twin flame and they didn't understand that kind of language. But I feel like they're starting to understand it now. Okay. Bottom of the deck, I want you. So they may be having some kind of awakening and go, or, or going through some kind of awakening. Yeah. And I feel like they, they're coming to this understanding rather quickly with this knight of swords here could be dealing with a <coughs> excuse me a taurus or a gemini okay yeah they're coming to this conclusion rather quickly yep they know that you're the person that they're supposed to be with or that or that they at least want to offer their cup to okay okay let's see what else we can get Let's just do some tarot. Plain tarot. I can't get too deep, y'all, because I'm really tired. Okay. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? I feel like this person is unhappy that you guys are not, um, that you guys are not together, okay? There may have been some delays with you guys getting together. Uh, could be dealing, could be dealing with a Leo. What else? What is this? Six of Wands in reverse. I feel like this person is upset that they weren't able to be successful in this relationship before with this Six of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> this person lacked confidence in this connection. The Wheel of Fortune. I feel like things are getting ready to change though, okay? Things are getting ready to change for the better. For the better. Yeah. Ace of Cups. Yeah, things are getting ready to change for the better. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me see. Can I? Give me a second, because this is really blurry. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little better. So I feel like things are getting ready to change for the better with this Ace of Cups here. What does Gemini need to know? Four of Pentacles. This person is no longer going to hold back from this connection with this Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person has given this this a lot of thought, okay? This person may be using their thoughts to manifest change. Also, this King of Swords here in the upright could be dealing with an Aquarius. With this King of Swords, King of Swords is Aquarius or Capricorn. This Knight of Wands here, I feel like they weren't successful in this relationship with, the, with this Knight of Wands in reverse before because they were not being honest with this ace of swords here in reverse could be dealing with an air sign but also um i feel like with this knight of wands in reverse they weren't dependable okay clarify knight of wands in reverse i can almost guarantee they was running the streets with other people clarify this knight of wands in reverse eight of pentacles mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. They may have lost a job, too. They may have lost work, lost their work. So maybe that's why they, don't, why they didn't feel confident. They may have lost work. We didn't want a Scorpio here with this death card. Something ended. But with this Three of Cups, I feel like, I, I still feel like there are other people involved. Okay. What does Gemini need to know? Gemini need to know. You know what? Clarify this King of Swords. Mm. That's that reckless, that's that reckless um talking that they do. They know they didn't treat you right. Yeah, they, and they know they turned their back on the connection. So they know that they didn't treat you right. They know they ain't talk to you right, okay? This could be a, a, a Libra. And they know that they turned their back on you in this connection. I still feel like there's other people involved, and that's why they did it. Also, they could have lost a job, too. What else? Yeah, but you finna start getting communication from this person. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles here, this person wants to nurture the connection. Okay. What else? Yeah. I feel like they want to move forward. And they're going to be taking action with this Queen of Wands. So, like I said, I feel like this person, when they come back, you're going to be getting a new version of this person. They, they're not going to be the same person that they were. Okay. I feel like they learned their lesson. They may have learned the lesson from the separation. I'm going to read myself here in a minute. Get the cards right. We're going to start off with all. I'm trying to make sure that we start off each reading with all uprights. So that if they flip over and reverse, I know that, that that's what they were supposed to do. Let me turn all these cards around. So I'm going to read for, I'm going to read, there's a person that's always in my energy and because I am intuitive, I know when this person is in my energy. So we're going to see, we're going to be nosy and be in his business since he want to be in my energy. We're going to see what he want to say. <clears throat> so this part of the reading is mine. Spirit guides come in and deliver a message for me. I also call in seeds, ancestors, angels, and spirit guides. I ask that you come in and help to deliver a message, a clear message. What is the energy around me and see? What is the energy around me and see? What is the energy around me and see? Codependency. Okay. Okay. Trust. It is safe for you to love. <clears throat> what is the energy around me and see? You want more? What is the energy around me and see? Okay. Religious factors. <laughs> okay. So, looking at this for myself. 
give me a second you guys this is really cloudy what is going on okay that's better way better okay so looking at this for myself religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path me and him were definitely on different paths and we definitely were raised differently well we were raised the same so we were both raised Christian but I am on a different I put my own spin on it based on my um, research and mentoring I don't believe in strict Christianity I don't believe in religion um, and he very much does so that probably would be an issue in our relationship trust this situation is calling for you to have faith I feel like this is telling me that I would have to trust him in this connection because this is saying that it is safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive the highest energy so I feel like it may be safe to love in this situation but I would have to trust him okay and then codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so some kind of addiction I know I don't have any addictions so let's see what kind of addictions he got because I don't have any Clarify religious factors. Clarify religious factors. Mm -hmm. So, with this Four of Cups and this Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is Leo energy, and this Four, oh, I ain't got to tell y'all that. Four of Cups is, it, is Cancer energy. But I feel like With him being a fire sign, I feel like he may walk away and reject me or reject a relationship because of the religious factors, because of what I believe and how much different it is than what he believes. Okay. See, he was raised very traditional, very much traditional. Okay. And I am not a traditional girl. Okay. So that traditionality with this six plus 10 and this four of wands, this is Aries energy and he is an Aries sun sign, Taurus moon. Um, but with this six plus four equal 10, this the differences in religion could cause a burden on the relationship, okay? And I'm getting so freaking hot right now. <sighs> See, if any of you guys have ever called in spirit, sometimes you get hot. Sometimes it, it affects people very differently, but I am so hot right now. Okay. Clarify codependency. Clarify codependency. Okay. Clarify this five of wands. So whatever this codependency is, he may be fighting against it. He may be codependent. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. It's so weird when you're trying to read for yourself. Okay, so that's me. So I so this hermit card in reverse is about being extremely lonely. Okay, so I feel like he probably wants to reach out which i know he does because i can feel him i can feel him in my energy but i feel like he's fighting himself about reaching out so he's fighting against reaching out to me okay also he may feel that i would reject communication from him clarify five of wands yeah with this higher friend card and there's that ten of wands I was talking about. So it's actually burdensome 
for him not to reach out okay so I feel like he's codependent on ego here because he know he wants to reach out he's lonely with this hermit card in reverse and he may even be getting wise counsel about should he reach out okay but I feel like he's fighting against that clarify trust <laughs> Clarify trust. Clarify trust. Yeah. So I feel like he wants to come in and give me an apology or give an apology. He may feel like I'm owed an apology and he wants to be shown compassion. Okay. But he stresses me out. Or he has stressed me out in the past. I ain't gonna say stressing me out now because he don't. But he has stressed me out in the past. And in order for a new beginning to happen with that Ace of Wands, this is saying that I would have to put all that to, to the side and trust. Yeah. See, I'd rather stay single than go back through that. Okay. And do absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I'm not really emotionally available. To this person because I felt betrayed or was betrayed by this person yeah and walked away okay so in order for a new beginning to happen here I would have to trust is what this is saying and be compassionate show compassion clarify it is safe for me to love clarify it is safe for me to love reconciliation and I know it I already know that this person wants to come back okay this temperance card is about balance and reconciliation this high priestess is about having a knowing okay or using your intuition I know this person wants to reconcile I actually I shouldn't say that I know that this person wants to at least speak to me I know that for a fact okay so at this knight of cups knight of swords he wants to come in quickly, okay? He at least wants to have a conversation and offer his cup. He wants to give up. He wants to have an equal give and take now. And this is saying it is safe for me to do that with this person. Okay. Let's see what he wants to say. This is somebody that I haven't had we talk on and off. I think the last time I talked to him probably was maybe four months ago. We're on friendly terms. But this is somebody that I actually know is a twin flame, is my twin flame. And um, so there's no bad blood between us or anything like that. We ain't beefing or nothing. But I can just tell when he's in my energy. Spirit, what does C want to say to me? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, this is somebody that I haven't been intimate with in probably eight years. So, there's no, he's not in my energy in that way. So, especially when you're not mixing sex with um so be when you're not being intimate with that person or haven't been and you could feel them in your energy to me that's just confirmation that you know it because you're not even sleeping with them so why would they be in your energy like your your intuition if your intuition is telling you that that somebody is in your energy and you're not even intimate with them you can definitely trust that what does he want to say to me talk to me My heart is telling me to just do it. Mm -hmm. He wants to reach out, and I can tell. In a second, y'all, I'm trying to, I don't want to shake the screen, but this cord is. Talk to me, what you want to say? Okay. 
You've been in my dreams. <laughs> what else? Talk to me. Okay. You feel like home to me. I can't ignore the signs I've been receiving. Mm -hmm. Yep. What else? Also, for the readers, the people who read, that's on my channel. If you are shuffling and you don't get a jumper, but you get resistance, like you see how I'm trying to shuffle and my hand is stuck here? These are probably cards you should take. I wish I could take back the things that I said. Mm -hmm. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Mm -hmm. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. So I feel like just me knowing the kind of family that he came from, especially his father. <coughs> his papa was the definition of Rolling Stone. And he saw that very, very early. Um, he is a good 10 years older than me. Uh, so he lived under the impression that like in this deck, that would be the cassette card where it's outdated thinking, okay? Not only that, he's probably been hurt because he's really nice, he's just well, from when I was dealing with him, he's a very nice person. He's just a whore. Um, and, you know, people change. That's why I try to tell you that, you know, the person that they were five years ago, I mean, just think about how much you change every so often, every couple years, you're a different person. People change, okay? So as he's gotten older, he's probably realized that that's not really the life that he wants to live, but he's done so much damage and he's done so much. He probably has a hard time trusting also. Okay. Give me one more. Talk to me. Give me one more. Give me one more. I need more time to figure things out. Take all the time you need. Okay. Spirit, what does C and you have to learn how to accept people for where they're at, where they're what where they are at in life. Okay. Everybody's not gonna be at the same place you're at, and you have to be okay with that. That's really the easiest way to manifest something back, something in is because if, if you don't have any resistance to it, okay. What does he need to confess? Spirit, what does he need to confess? Just being, just being near you is intoxicating. What does he need to come? Mm -hmm. I can't stop thinking about you. And you want to know how I know this? Because he's in my energy all the time. I can feel him. So I already know. And the reason why I can feel it is because he's thinking. Okay. That just lets you know how connected we really all are. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Okay, so he learned a lesson. He learned some lessons behind um, behind our relationship. I told him probably maybe three months into us dating, I told him I knew who he was. And I did. I knew who he was. I actually knew who he was very early on, much earlier than three months. Um, but three months is when I decided to tell him that I knew who he was. And, of course, he didn't understand what I meant. But if it's eight to ten years later and you still can't stop thinking about somebody, you still are in contact. Like I said, last time we've been in contact with each other, it's been a couple months ago. But 
you don't just stay in contact with somebody for that long. We don't have kids together or anything like that. You don't stay in contact with somebody for that long unless you know that there's some kind of connection. What else? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. What else? I wonder if you're happy without me. And he wonders that because I'm cool with the situation. I'm cool with it either way. Okay. And so because I'm so nonchalant, that would make anybody think that. That's one of our Gemini traits is being really nonchalant. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I hid, I hid who I really am from you. And you can't hide. You cannot hide from an intuitive person. He thought he was hiding who he was. I knew he was playing like he was hard and a player and all that kind of stuff. I knew that that's not. He had been hurt. And I, could, and I knew that. That he had been hurt emotionally so he was afraid to show any woman any kind of emotion for fear of being taken advantage of um he thought he was hiding that but you can't hide from an intuitive person you can't hide and you can't lie to an intuitive person okay <clears throat> the current energy between me and C. Will of Fortune, King of Wands, Ace of Cups. So he wants to take action. And the thing about it is, it's going to keep pushing on him to take action until he does it. With this Will of Fortune card here. It's going to keep pushing. What does C think about me? Okay. Four of Wands. Marriage material, wifey, commitment material. That four of wands is Aries energy, so that's his energy. Clarify four of wands. Uh, clarify four of wands. Okay. <laughs> oh. Lord, you think I'm a devil? Um, my moon is in Capricorn. So either he thinks I'm the devil or he's obsessively thinking about us in this relationship. Okay. He may also think that I have him blocked. Okay. Or that I am not open. Okay. With this cross here. That I'm not open because this is air energy. So this is me. So he may think that I'm not open to any kind of, you know, communication relationship with him. This tower card here. <clears throat> That's my rising. He could think I have an explosive temper. Okay. Clarify the tower. I just feel like he thinks that I've moved forward with his three of wands here. Could be dealing with it. No, could be dealing with an Aries. I am dealing with an Aries. Okay. I really want to know about this tower. Clarify tower. Clarify the tower. Let's 
So I just think that he thinks that I blew up and left, maybe. I'm not really getting a clear reading on that tower. But with this hermit card is about ghosts in the situation. He also knows, he also thinks that I really see him too with this light here. But I feel like he thinks that I've turned my back and I'm waiting or I'm looking towards something new. Okay. That I've turned my back on this situation. Maybe he just thinks I got a bad temper, an explosive temper. <laughs> Clarify the devil. Asshole. <laughs> Yeah, by the devil. I just think he's obsessively thinking about me. I think he's gotten... So he may think that I am sturdy and stable and dependable with this Knight of Pentacles here. Okay. Where if I ace of swords? That's about truth and clarity. So maybe he thinks I'm a truthful person. Well, he definitely does think I am stable. I think he probably thinks also, too, that I'm in my masculine energy a lot. Oh. He thinks I'm with somebody. With this Taurus card here. This is his moon sign. He thinks I'm with somebody. He thinks I'm in a commitment. So that's where this uh that's where this uh three of wands comes in at. Where he thinks I've turned my back or I've left the situation. Okay. He could think that, you know, us being so he could view me as commitment material or wiping material, whatever, but he could also think that I have a very explosive personality or that us being together would be very explosive, maybe even a disaster with this tower. Okay. Especially with this devil card here. But just based on all the other cards that's out here, I feel like this devil card is him being kind of obsessed with me. Especially if you stand up all night and I'm telling you what it is. And a lot of you guys don't get that. A lot of you guys don't get that. But it's the nonchalance that that draws people in. If I was sitting around thinking about him all the time, worrying about what he was doing and all this other stuff, he wouldn't be like that. He wouldn't be, those cards wouldn't be coming out about he's sitting up thinking about me and just being near me is intoxicating. It's the, re, it's the subtle rejection that brings him close. Because with that King of Wands coming out, and I'm going to tell you right now, he's very, he has a big ego. So, somebody like that, you got to, he's used to, I, I watched him before I started dating him. I just watched how he interacted with other people. And, you know, he always had women falling all over him. So, I did the exact opposite, you know, because that's that Gemini. We're going to think about it. So, that, hmm. That Ace of Swords, he could think I'm very strategic, especially with that Knight of Pentacles. He knows I move strategically. I think strategic. Everything I do has a rhyme or a reason. Um, so that's another thing he could he could think that I he could think about me is that I'm very strategic in everything that I do. But I watched him and I made sure that I did the exact opposite of what I saw those women doing. How does he feel about me? How does C feel about me? Okay. He's conflicted. Stand up. Okay, so here's another one. Stand up at night. Wanting to send some kind of message with this bird here. He may even be talking to spirit or praying about the situation. But he's definitely conflicted. Rest out. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. He feels that I wish fulfillment. What else? He could also be stressed out because he thinks I'm with somebody else. 
and it's because I, I, drop, I fall off the face of the earth he could feel rejected by me or feel that I'm bored of him he could feel like I ghosted him or again that I see something that he was trying to hide feel that okay Knight of Cups he wants to offer that cup Three of Cups wants to re reconciliate and nurture the connection. He wants long term. I can't make it up, y'all. I can feel it. I can feel it. That may sound cocky, but when you know, you know. Um, some of you guys don't know how to be patient. You have to make them come to you. Look at that. <laughs> Chess, not checkers, baby. And the trick is to really not be pressed. I'm really not pressed. Let's see what he had. Because if you need more time to figure things out, what you had? There's that trust issue. <laughs> Wouldn't say I need to trust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is C hiding that I don't know about? What is. Okay. So, see, he was in another relationship that has ended, okay? He may be taking a break here with this Four of Swords. He may even be depressed about the break in some way, okay? Or maybe he found out something. Maybe he knows something, okay? I feel like he could be again have some hurt feelings he could be confused depressed okay he could have been dealing with a cancer woman or a pisces <clears throat> oh let's find out about this six of pentacles you see all these hands and his money clarify six of pentacles So I feel like he may have had a couple people grabbing at him, but he's he's going on a new path. He's choosing to go on a new path, especially with this this Aries energy all day. And like I said, he's like 10 years old, older than me, but he's very young. He has a very young energy. Anymore. You see the reality of something. So I feel like this person that he was dealing with, they may have been hiding something and he see the reality of it. He may have, his feelings may have been hurt about what he found out himself about this two of cups. <clears throat> Nine of pentacles. I feel like he's in, he's single now. Yep. So what he was hiding was he was in another, another situation. And, but you worrying about who I'm messing with. See what I'm talking about? Let's see what his next actions are. Then I'm going to go because I'm really tired. <laughs> I am really tired and really hot. What are his next actions towards me? What are his next actions towards me? What are 
his next actions towards me. What are his next actions towards me? What is he's next? Okay, because so he's coming in. I want to take some kind of risk. Coming in as a knight, though. Okay. Yeah, he wants a new beginning. Buy my deck, Queen of Wands. I feel like he's going to take some kind of action. Okay. Yep, he wants to pull a Lazarus with his four swords in reverse. Damn, I'm way too many. <laughs> I'm way too many. One more. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to get some communication. Now the cups at the bottom of the deck. You want to offer. He's coming in as a knight, though. But like I said, I know him. So I know that he has... I'm trying to get these cards. I know that he has a very young energy. I have a very young energy. So him coming in like that doesn't necessarily bother me. Okay. You have to know what you're willing to um, deal with too. Okay. If you notice, he's coming in definitely in his energy. All is fire. Very fiery person. The, the difference is, oh yeah, the difference is he's going to sprinkle some emotion in there where he tried to hide those emotions um, at first. What's the energy around me and see? What's the energy around me and see? My goodness, that's too many. I'll take the top one. The runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of, of intimacy, listening to the ego. So I definitely feel like that was, that's his energy, okay? And I definitely feel like that was the energy that he was in. But the thing about it is I let him run so he, he got tired. I'm not going to chase you. Clock. Need time, takes time, end time, cycles, time to heal, progress. I definitely, he said he needed more time to figure things out. And I definitely feel like there's something that he needs to heal from. The golden mirror, self self-absorbed, <laughs> self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So this gives me devil energy. I really feel like this is maybe my energy. Um, I wouldn't consider myself a narcissist, but I am definitely about self. Mm. Bomb on the deck. Uh oh. Bomb on the deck. Engagement ring. Definitely goes with this Knight of Cups energy. And believe it, like I said, I listened to a reader for me. Um, and two different times she talked about an engagement ring. So, okay. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, invitation. Okay, and boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving moving on closure issues so i feel like divine timing mass not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude gaslighting i feel like uh, that's his energy where it says he hid who he was um i definitely feel like divine timing is at play here uh but again i'm not concerned about it okay I'm not concerned about it. I just know he's in my energy. I can feel him. So, Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.